It's January 23rd all day, and these historical events occurred on January 23rd, this day in history. In 393, Roman Emperor Theodosius I proclaims his nine-year-old son, Honorius, co-emperor. Nine years old? That's two years younger than a middle schooler in sixth grade. Co-emperor of the biggest empire in the entire world. In 1845, the Uniform U.S. Election Day for President and Vice President is authorized. In 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell becomes the first woman in the U.S. to earn a medical degree, graduating from New York's Geneva Medical College. In 1862, Augusta Harazia who cares, the first vintner in Sonoma Valley, California, imports 10,000 grapevine cuttings. Therefore, he's the start of California wines, I suppose. And I'm whining about his name. In 1930, Clyde Tombaugh photographs the planet Pluto, the planet Pluto. In 1933, the 20th Amendment, which changed the date of the U.S. presidential inauguration to the 20th of January, is ratified. In 1957, Whammo Company produces the first flying frisbee called the Pluto Platter until 1958, then it was called the Flying Frisbee. Still though, Pluto again. In 1964, the 24th Amendment to the United States Constitution is ratified, barring poll taxes in federal elections. In 1973, U.S. President Richard Nixon announces an accord has been reached to end the Vietnam War. Very important, in 1984, Hulk Hogan defeats the Iron Sheik to win his first World Wrestling Federation title at Madison Square Gardens, New York. Let me tell you something, brother. In 1986, the inaugural class of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame includes Chuck Berry, James Brown, Ray Charles, Fats Domino, Everly Brothers, Buddy Holly, Jerry Lee Lewis, Elvis Presley, and Little Richard, who my dad and I think is the true king of rock and roll. Just saying. In 2013, the U.S. Armed Forces overturns a 1994 ban on women serving in combat. And in 2020, China locks down the city of Wuhan and its 9 million people in a belated but ultimately successful effort to control the city's COVID-19 epidemic. What happened each date won't be a mystery if you subscribe to my channel for this date in history. Like, share, subscribe, plus check out the comments for even more January 23rd history. Because if you don't, you'll be ignorant. And nobody wants to be friends with an ignorant person. Just saying. In 1930, Clyde Thomberg, another stupid name. <sighs> Again, what's wrong with Smith? What's wrong with Jones? Rogers? Huh. <sighs> In 1930, Clyde Thomball. Tomball? Who knows? 